In the previous section, we got this error message saying target container is not a DOM element. Let's discuss what this error means and how we can fix it in this section. So far, we have only told render method what we want to render. That is, app variable which is a react element of type h1 that will eventually display h1 element on the web page. But we haven't told our render method where it should render h1 element on the page. In other words, we are saying react, hey react, please render this element for me on the browser. In reply, react says, okay buddy, I'll render this for you. But where should I keep this on the browser? Tell me the mount point or precisely the target DOM node to associate the react element you have given me. So we have to associate our react element app with some DOM node. Okay, how to do that now? We have passed only one argument to render method, but in actual, it expects two arguments. The first argument is the react element I would like to render, which we already passed here. And the second argument is where to render that element on the DOM. You can think of it as, I'm going to write it in comment, react DOM dot render. First argument it takes is what, what element we would like to render. And second argument is where, where we would like to render it on the DOM. The second argument or the target container DOM node is the thing react is complaining about that we haven't provided it. So we need a DOM node such that we can pass its reference as the second argument to our render method. For that, let's go to our index.html file in our public folder. This is the file that is used by build server to place bundled or compiled script of all of our source code, which will be finally served to the web browser on running npm start. Inside the body tag of this HTML file, we can see there is an empty div already initialized by create react app with id root. The purpose of this div is to serve as the root container or mount point to hold our element mentioned as the first argument to our react dom's render method. So let's quickly move on to our source code and make that change. Okay, we need to mention the div's reference as the second argument here. How to get its reference? It's as simple as doing document dot get element by id and the id is root. This target container node or root DOM node becomes the root node of the entire React application. Okay, let's just neatly arrange it like this. And let's save it and let's try one last time on the browser and see if it works. And there you go. We have successfully rendered our hello world heading onto the web page using React. That wasn't too difficult, right? Alright, let's move on.